Well, I, you know, I want to start by just saying how much I have enjoyed coaching this season, and especially these two seniors. Um, you know, it always seems to go by so fast, and you know, when I think about you know the last four years and everything these two have put in and everything they've played through, uh, you know, as a coach, you just hope you get to coach and work with. Uh, young women who are so passionate, um, you know, about the team, their teammates, and really do everything they can on an everyday basis um, to compete and win. And I think when you can find players like that, uh, you know, it just makes the entire job and the entire process that much easier. And these two for four years, I mean, they've been just so selfless. Every night, their only goal is whatever it takes to win. And no matter what I would ever ask them to do, they would, they would do anything they can to win. And so I know this is incredibly painful. Um, you know, we wanted this to go the other way. And we started pretty slow in the first half. And so, uh, you know, it's never easy uh, for the season to end, but I hope they look back and they don't have any regrets because they've done everything they can for four years um, to win as many games and to put ourselves in this kind of situation. Shelby, this is a great matchup tonight between the Pioneers and Randolph-Macon. Um, it was a really sloggy start for both teams. What were you guys telling yourselves uh, as you just worked through that first quarter where it appeared like a lot of good shots were available but weren't uh, just simply going in? Um, I mean, I think after the first quarter, we definitely tried to settle down and just uh, tell ourselves that we're, we're good shooters and shots are eventually going to fall, and eventually they did in the third quarter, but we've, uh, we've had quarters before where we've struggled to score, and it's, I mean, it's nothing new to us, so I think we just tried to stay positive and keep supporting each other and keep telling each other to continue to shoot. Ashton, uh, we look back at the box score tonight. You had one of the most explosive performances on the Transylvania side. Obviously, there wasn't a lot of clearance for much of the night, but you were able to make make a lot of it. Uh, tough opportunities offensively. What was working for you tonight at times in this game? Um, I mean, just wanting to win for the team, you know, and I just kept pushing myself, and I knew that I was going to give it all that I could to win and try to put us in the best position we could to do that. Shelby, this team really rose to the occasion even though the final result didn't go your way. That was most evident in the opening three minutes of the second half when after much of a defensive drought for the entire game up to that point, uh, you guys erupted for an 8 nothing lead and attained your first lead of the game. What changed in that uh, juncture? Um, I think in that juncture we just kind of settled down and really stuck to our assignment offense and defense. Um, I think we did a bit of a better job boxing out uh, on the inside during that stretch and also just getting quality looks. I mean, Novi, I think, exploded for most of her points in that period. So really trying to exploit their weaknesses, and I think we did that during that time stretch. Coach, as the game went on, it seemed like it was not only a stylistic matchup between Randolph-Macon and Transylvania, but also one of physicality. Uh, can you kind of explain what it was like seeing all that size inside against Randolph-Macon and how you guys tried to best contend with it over the night? Yeah, you know, I think one of the things that's always happened for us is we're pretty flexible. Um, you know, we knew the press over the course of the game would wear them down. Um, but you also, it's wearing down your own team too, and so it's always some sort of a gamble when you're doing that. Uh, and it, it helped us, I think, have a lot of energy in the third quarter when things went our way. Um, and so I thought there was a lot of value into us trying to make it a full court game, alleviate some of the pressure inside. Uh, and, you know, and then we just had, you know, we had a tough night. We had some great looks at the rim. We missed a lot of free throws early. Uh, you know, and those sort of things that when it came down to being a one or two possession game before we started fouling down the stretch, uh, you know, those things could have really helped us out late in the game. And, and you have nights like that. And, you know, it's frustrating when it happens at big moments that you're getting looks at the rim and you can't get it to fall. Uh, but we just kept battling. And, uh, you know, with three or four minutes ago, we were right there in a one, two possession game. And I thought we, you know, unfortunately, we didn't come down with a few key rebounds that. You know, a couple of them just, you know, came our way and we batted out from each other. But, you know, we competed and fought and um, they obviously have some strengths and we have some strengths. And I think down the stretch, you know, they got a couple, you know, a couple plays to go their way that we needed. Shelby, obviously things are really fresh and probably too recent to reflect fully, but uh, not only this season, but the last two, three plus seasons have been an amazing run for Transylvania women's basketball. You look at the banners in the future and they'll have the years of, the, of, of when you guys attended here at school, but what stands out to you um, about this particular 
season, uh, any memories with the teams or just how you guys came together or a unique identity you established together? Um, I think honestly just establishing our identity as being a defensive team. Um, at the beginning of the season we, we had a lot of freshmen and we were playing a lot of freshmen and we weren't really sure how we were going to score so our answer was just to sit down and defend better. So I think everybody on the team respond, has responded well to challenges this year. I mean we've gone through injury, we've gone through uh, playing on the road, stuff like that, and we've always found a way to battle back, and that says something about our team as a whole, but especially the young core that we have, because to be so young and to be able to rise to challenge and things like that, it's just a testament to how they're going to be moving forward. Well, thanks again for sharing your thoughts tonight, guys. Once again, Transylvania head coach Julie Folks and the two indelible seniors of this team, Shelby Boyle and Ashton Woodard, uh, congratulations on tremendous careers. Not the night we would have wanted tonight, but an amazing season that comes to an end at 25-3, and one of the highest win totals in Transylvania women's basketball season. Congratulations. Thank you.